Question 4. This one, there is a micrometer screw gauge used to measure the diameter of a copper wire. The reading in with the wire in position is shown in diagram 1. Wire is removed and the jaws of the micrometer are closed. So I think this is a past year question that has repeated itself. Okay, if you know which year this is from or you've seen this before, then good luck. Right, but here let's say, let's assume you haven't done enough past year and you've seen it the first time. So what to do? Diagram 1 shows the wire in position. It means you put the wire inside the micrometer and you get this reading. Okay, I remove the wire and then the jaws of the micrometer is closed. This is diagram 2. So what diagram 2 shows you is the presence of zero error. Okay, meaning the reading is always bigger than or smaller than the actual value. Now, if you look at this reading, this reading looks like... Okay, let me zoom in a bit. Ding, ding, ding. Now you see, ah, uh, you see this one? It touches this line here. Wait, can't see my cursor. Touches the line here. Okay. So since it touches this line, ding, this one looks like 14. And you may think to yourself, 14 what? Ah? Well, you chill first. For people with not good memory, aka me, people like me, the way I do it is, I just think, it can't be, it can't be 14 mm, because that's not sensitive enough for a micrometer. In fact, 14 mm is meter rule. Meter rule can read to 14 mm because 14 mm is 1.4 cm. Okay, so then I think, okay, 100 and, no, 114, 1.4 mm. 1.4 mm is vernier caliper. Okay, so this is actually 0 0.14 mm micrometer. So the way I recall it is I always start from a meter rule because if I forget or if I'm having a very blur morning, I always have a meter rule with me. So I can just look at it. Oh yeah, makes sense. Meter rule and then we move one decimal point. That's my tip. Lah. If you remember, then you save yourself some time. Okay, so the zero error is 0 0.14 mm. I'm going to write this here, 0 0.14 mm. This means whatever reading that you have, you need to minus 0 0.14 mm. The reading was supposed to be zero, but it was not zero. It was extra a bit, extra a bit by 0 0.14 mm. So now let's look at the wire where you have the actual reading. Okay, so this one looks like nine to me, right? The place where they so-called overlap or cut, let me change the thickness. This one is 9. Okay, and then we can start counting. Because each interval is 1 mm. So this is 1 mm, this is 2 mm. If you're wondering what is this, this is 0 0.5. This is 1.5. This is 2.5. So your reading is 2.5 mm. I'm going to write here big, big. 2.5 mm plus a little bit more. You see this part here, this extra a bit more. So this extra a little bit more is your nine, this extra here to here. Okay, so again, just now we already know that one small interval is 0 0.01 mm. So this nine is equivalent to 0 0.09 mm. So this is 2.5 mm plus 0 0.09 dun, dun, dun. so the actual reading here would be 2.59 mm okay so this is the actual reading itself so when i zoom out and notice that my text is a bit small give me a sec to adjust so as I zoom out and I see this, this is the reading, but I need to subtract by zero error. Okay. So hence, the diameter of the wire will be equal to 2.59 minus 0 0.14.
Okay, so you have to make sure that the decimal point is the same. Another clue is you look at all the answers. Lo. They are all in two decimal points. So if your decimal point don't align with the answer here, something is wrong. La. You misremembered. But if I subtract this, I should get 2.45 mm. Okay. So step one, think about what does the smallest interval reading mean, whether it's a micro, micro uh, meter or a vernier caliper. Think of the smallest reading. If you are not very good at memorizing things like me, then what you could do is you could start with the meter rule and work your way quickly by moving the decimal point. Another hint is that all of this is two decimal point. All right. So find your zero error, take your actual reading and subtract the zero error. Okay, if you understand how the scale works, then this is pretty straightforward. Lah. You start counting. Okay, it is the counting that matters. All right, so that's it for the micrometer question. Make sure you also study on how to read a vernier caliper.